So with cast in place stones, you have to be aware that there is some inherent risk. When you have a garnet, like we do here, that's cast in place, we're going to just pop that off. You can see that the stone itself has to be captured within the wax and exposed in the back so that the plaster can act as a mechanism to hold it in place once the wax is gone. That is the first concern, setting your stone in a cast in place setting. The next concern is how you're gonna handle thermal shock. So some stones are lab grown, do not have any inclusions and will survive casting in place. If you just have some random garnet, like what we're using for the dragon eyes, these are the same batch, it's usually good to do a tester. So this is actually the same set of garnets cut by the same person from the same rock, same cut, and you can look closely, you'll see that there are tiny fractures. And it's unclear if those fractures are because the casting setting is too heavy, if there were inclusions in the stone that caused the fractures to occur, let's see if we can, or if there was just too much metal compressing the stone as it cooled and shrunk down, right? So you have to think about the coefficient of expansion of your metal, how thick your metal is, the thermal shock of your metal, and how much of that shock can your stone handle. And then be informed of the decision that, yes, I have in fact decided that I want to risk it and try casting this garnet in place with your ring or your dragon head knowing that it could fracture. And that may be okay if you're not worried. It's like a cheap stone that you got at the store, or maybe it was a practice lapidary. But you do want to check for inclusions. Make sure you know about thermal shock. And more importantly, when you're casting stones in place, you're going to ramp them up in the kiln slowly on your normal kiln schedule. But you're also going to make sure to wait until... The flask is cold enough to the touch before you quench, because if you quench too early, these fractures right here, come here, light. These fractures right here are more likely to form from the thermal shock of molten metal contacting it, followed by the thermal shock of water forcing everything to cool down much faster.
So here's the final cast part. It worked okay. You can see the eyes are cast in place. Both sides. A little bit of fracturing on the interior. And then if you look at the interior housing, the point is still in good condition. So all these sprues will need to be cut off.